Okay, I'm going to turn this sweet little gourd into what I call a hanging basket birdhouse. So the first thing I need to do is lay out these horizontal lines for the basket work. And I do that using a compass. And I start with a pencil and I make a rough brown about where I want the edge of the basket to be. Okay, so there's my rough circle to start with. And since this is a smaller gourd, I'm going to use a narrow line. And I'm just going to go around the whole gourd. And they don't have to be perfect. Because nothing in life is. And I'm going to finish this off. Okay, I've gone all the way around the gourd at this point. And I just did the horizontal lines. Now what I'm going to do is lay out on the vines and the flowers and I just start at the top draw a little bit of a wavy line like that and here's a branch it's gonna come off that and we'll start a new one up here and this some of these I'm gonna want to go into the wicker so they're going to drop down below that line and then I usually I hold it where I think where it'll hang and look for a spot that maybe has a bump or a scar in it and right here here there's kind of a little nasty spot so I'm just going to rough out that's where the hole is going to be. They're starting to match up. I'm just gonna do a little little one there. So that's the basic outline of where the vines and the leaves are gonna be. And I just do a simple heart. I make a stem. And there's a leaf. I moved the camera a little bit and outlined some of the leaves I'm drawing. I try to make sure that there's some overlay to give it depth and I will finish out the leaf part of it and record a little more. Before I go any further I also want to show how I do the flowers. For this one, I've decided to use five petals, so I just pick a spot and make five lines. And so that those will be my petals, and I'll give them a little whoop-de-doodle here.
then as I go down the vine, I'll do flowers and make sure, like I said before, that I have the overlap. Okay, in an effort not to make a short story long, I've put a basic outline on everything. The pencil marks are a lot darker than I usually make to show up on camera and now what I'm going to do is get out my burning iron and start to have some real fun. This is all traced out and my burning iron has been heating up. Um, this is from an old drafting kit that I have and it's sandpaper and it's good to just do a quick little on the tip like that every now and again just to burn the carbon off. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline all the leaves and the stems and so this line is going to be the rim of my basket. And there's my first leaf. There you go. You can see how that just makes everything really pop. Um, with a lot of inks, there's special gourd inks that you can get and you need to burn these edges to hold the paint. I just do it because I really like the look and especially when I'm doing this wicker if I just paint over, it just doesn't look the same if I don't have these little outlines. And anyways, I will get on with this and do another update. I don't want to make this too long and tedious. Okay, this is about 10 minutes. It took me outline that. I still have a bit more to do. Okay, now this is the fun part. First I have to lay out the squares in the pattern. So, this is a nice bare spot right out in the front. So I'm just going to go start here. Every other, every other, okay, so I'm going to finish that and I'll show you how I get the wicker look. Okay, as you can see, I've gone all the way around and made that pattern. So that's going to basically be the grid for the weaving. Gonna start up here at the top. Do a little bit of an outline and give it some shape on the edges. And then I just make little 